Yo, what's going on TRC fans? Tyler with That Racing Channel, back with another episode. Today, we have one of the cleanest Factory 5s in the entire United States. This thing is LSX swapped with twin turbos. This thing gets down. We're gonna talk to the owner, show you what she's got. think that I've seen a factory five in person, let alone something this clean. I'm here with the owner, Dan. How's it going, man? Good, how you doing? Good, thank you for uh, for bringing me out and oh, showing me the car. For coming out. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, it is a factory five GTM. It uh, was built in 2006. I actually bought it from the original owner back in 2013. And it had a uh, stock LS1 in it with the Porsche transaxle, which is basically the typical kind of setup people use in these. It was one of the first ones sold and one of the first ones finished in the country. So yeah. it kind of had a special story behind it. Loved the car, went on some supercar runs with it, uh, drove it for a couple years, but uh, needed more power. One day I had an alternator problem, drove it home, had a really wicked case of while you're in there syndrome. <laughs> Bought turbos for it. I've got precision 62-66s. I've got twin 46 millimeter uh, wastegates. Twin 64 millimeter blow-off valves, all precision. Bought the new motor for it, the LSX 376. Stock internals, it's all forged. It's the B15 model. I've got the, uh, the Holley billet twin fuel pump in there for 1200 horse. I'm um, currently just running 91 octane. Everything was tuned out at uh, Cordis by Nick D. He, uh, any of my LS cars, he's uh, he's been the tuner for, so he yeah. does great work. I mean, yeah. this car just looks absolutely insane. How many times when you drive this, how many people say, what is it? Every time. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, it's, it's an ordeal uh, just going and getting gas. I mean, you just don't see them, and you definitely don't see them in this quality. I mean, they're usually unfinished, and I mean, the fact that I mean, you shift this car. I love the uh, I love the gated six. Speed yeah, engine. when I went with the uh, Lamborghini Transaxle, um, I had the challenge of shift cables and kind of the logistics of shifting. Yeah. And there were some aftermarket uh, kits available for the Superlight Coupes that were using the Graziano, but the dimensions are a little bit different, and I wasn't quite uh, happy with the way it was unmarked. Just kind of. Um, yeah had some special considerations for reverse. Found a good deal on the gated shifter out of a, a straight out of a Gallardo. Wow. And so I managed to get that up in the in the dash. I know the guys at home want to hear it, so please start this thing up and give me a couple revs. Okay. thing sounds good oh. all right about to go for a ride oh. <laughs> this thing is not, how do you fit in this thing dude you're like what are you like six three six, six four? four yeah, yeah. That's it takes it took a lot of practice to eventually <laughs> get because uh, you get in gracefully too. Oh, yeah. well, it took a long time. <laughs> Surprise. Talking about how just nice 
fucking easy it drives and then just take her for a rip. Man, this thing sounds so intimidating. took a ride in this and I mean the turbos are a super responsive but I mean it drives really nice yeah yeah it, ha it uses the Corvette suspension components so it actually uh, rides really well yeah. um, the main difference obviously is the coilovers in the back uh, it's got all the Coney uh, coilovers all the way around but uh, you know it has good clearance 
it gets decent gas mileage. Uh, <laughs> before the turbos, it was great, but yeah. uh, it's only 2,600 pounds, so it uh, it doesn't take yeah. much to get it moving. I had it out at the half mile event, and uh, previously my GTR, I went 166, and this actually went 170.19, but I had a little bit of uh, shakiness up towards the top end when I was slowing down. Kind of put a little bit of fear in me. Yeah. So I, had to dial it back a little bit, but uh, it's real good point at uh, uh, 12 pounds. Yeah. I swapped out, uh, got R triple eights all the way around, so it gave me a lot more traction. Yeah. I was having some issues with that, but uh, it hooks up. It uh, handles great. It's like a little go kart. I ended up reaching out to Lingenfelter. They had featured their intercooled intake at SEMA, and so I reached out to their engineer and kind of told him my conundrum of a it has to rotate 180 degrees. But also I have a little bit of a lip underneath there and it, it you know, needed to figure out some interference points. So the engineers actually worked really well with me and sent out drawings with the intake swapped, wow. overlaid with the stock intake so I could figure out the interference points. That's awesome. And uh, got it all in there and went to uh, the store, spent a small fortune in uh, AN fittings. I bet. Got it all going and, yeah. and uh, it's been some trial and error. 